Hey everybody, I'm back. It's like two in the morning or something, and um, I discovered something else about Reaper. So um, there is a uh, plugin that comes with Reaper. It's called Retune or Reatune, and it's not only uh, able to correct pitch with vocals or voices but really other pitch instruments and anything that has pitch. So, man, I sound like I need a pop screen on this thing. Um, anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to use Reatune, and down here we can make sure this little checkbox is checked, and you can see it's like a guitar tuner. You can use it as a guitar tuner, and after a recording is done, you can go back and use this to correct your voice and the pitch and it also functions like auto tune so this is reattune this is pretty much reaper's version of auto tune so but it's also a guitar tuner and um, you know you could use it to tune a piano or something um so anyway um it sends midi events not only does it does it function as a uh, tuner and a, a you know pitch corrector but it also sends, it converts your voice to MIDI in, in pitch with the 88 keys of the keyboard. Pretty interesting. So anyway, it works in conjunction with several other things. We're going to move that off the side. And then uh, you got to also use uh, this volume control. So you got to go into this volume control right here. It's actually over on the other screen. Here it is. And then you got to make sure that you turn the output volume completely down. So you can hear my reverb right now because the speakers in the room are turned up suddenly. And you don't want to hear that. Um, if that's not the only reason you want to have this volume down. You also want it to only record MIDI events, not audio. So we're going to, you know, we got the audio turned all the way down on that volume control now. So now it's just MIDI. Um, should be just MIDI. Here, uh, we're gonna. The last thing we're gonna do is add an instrument to control with our voice. So we're gonna add this BBC Orchestra, and it hears my voice. I can't sing very well. Anyway, hello. Let's try to hit that A three. <laughs> That's a harp. So we're hearing a harp. Let's bring Symphony Orchestra up. There it is. Let's bring it over here. Here there's French horns. French horns. good about staying on pitch if you're a vocalist in order to control these things with a uh, you know with a vocal mic to MIDI um, pretty interesting I'm, I'm gonna try recording something and I, I was having a hard time earlier getting it to record MIDI and not audio let's see if we can do it Hello, hello. Hello. That's audio, so I gotta figure out how to make it MIDI. Hello. Let's let's put it on something else. Base.
as just an example. I mean, is it upright vice, uh, upright bass viol? I'm controlling with my voice. I don't think I'm gonna be effectively slapping and popping with my voice, but you know, <coughs> slapping and popping. I used to have a book about playing bass guitar, slapping and popping. Okay, so, you know, man, I don't know. This volume control is cool because you can still see the input volume, but the output volume is nothing because you turned it all the way down. I wonder if you can hear me over the bass. There's got to be a way we can control that and separate them. Because if I turn this down, oh, you can still hear my voice really loud. There's got to be some way that I can turn my... Hello, hello. Oh, you can still... Hello, hello. All right. Well, when I turn on record, it suddenly allows me to use the... And you can see that it's MIDI on the mixer. So this little red line represents... MIDI signal going out, you know, and if we didn't have that checkbox marked in um, Retune for MIDI going out, then this little red line wouldn't be here right now. La. A upright bass doesn't have pitches that go so high, way up high like this, you can't hear pitches on an upright bass because the strings don't go up that high. High, high, high. Yeah, whatever. <clears throat> All right, we got to figure out how to convert it to MIDI on the recording function. All right, thanks. <laughs>